Well, frozen iguanas, we see them almost every year and every winter in South Florida. And after last night's temperature dip, you may have been on the lookout for <laughs> those falling iguanas this morning. I didn't see any, not yet anyways. Neither. WPTV <laughs> News Channel 5's Brianna Nesbrough shares this year's iguana forecast may look a little different. Falling iguanas, it's nothing we haven't seen before here in South Florida. He's catching some rays so he can warm up. Just two years ago, one viewer found a frozen iguana outside of his home. There he was, laying on the sidewalk. But this year, we're seeing less of these frozen reptiles. We're looking at a male iguana. Steve Kavashamsky calls himself the Iguana Buster. <laughs> Just last year in January, he got over 20 calls of frozen iguanas. This year, only two. So the iguanas are definitely getting climatized. They're getting used to the cooler weather, unlike us in South Florida. But with the iguanas getting acclimated to this weather, it's harder for these critters to die on their own. You really have to have a couple of days in the 30s for that to happen. That's why places like Iguana Busters are looking to catch these spiky creatures. They're destroying the Florida ecosystem. They're not natural in Florida. They have no natural predators in Florida. But in the state of Florida, because they are non-native and invasive, you are legally allowed to kill iguanas humanely. In West Palm Beach, I'm Brianna Nusbra, WPTV News Channel 5. Now, iguanas here in Florida, as you heard, are non-native and they are considered an invasive species. They can run up to 21 miles per hour and they're great swimmers as well. The female iguana can lay up to 80 eggs in one clutch. And it is not wise, we should point out, to touch or pick up these creatures. They do carry the salmonella bacteria as well as ticks. 